Hey you guys, how's it going? I am sorry I am a little bit late tonight for the live tutorial. My little man, I swear my youngest, he can tell whenever I need to do something and he was super clingy. He's chilling out now with my hubby so um, anyways I have him occupied and so I can be here and focus on you guys answer your questions. I am so pumped about this new makeup line. You guys are absolutely going to love it too. And I'm totally applying myself with like tons of valor too because you guys, you don't know how much courage it takes me to get on live video without a stitch of makeup on, okay? So let me go ahead and get started on the makeup tutorial and... um so then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable on, <laughs> on camera. And um, as I'm going along, you guys, please ask questions. Please um, interact because I'm here to tell you all about this amazing makeup line and why you need it in your life and why you need to get rid of the other junk that you have that you're putting on your face. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, confession time, I... Um, I have been really good about switching over a lot of my products in my home, um, my detergents, my soaps, my um, shampoo, conditioner, um, my makeup line, my um, uh, skincare line, I mean, and now my makeup line, you guys, but it took me forever because I love makeup and I would still put toxic junk on it, so I'm very, very thrilled about this amazing makeup line that I'm going to tell you all about tonight. So as you're joining in, please comment, tell me hello, tell me where you're joining in from. I'd love to say hey. Um, I'm just trying to get my, my makeup lined up so we can get started in just a second. I hope y'all are doing so good tonight. Alright, so let me go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to first go ahead and prep my skin. I washed it with our Art Skincare line, which, you guys, this stuff is so amazing. It's super luxurious. This is the cleanser. I know my light is super bright, but I wanted you guys to see as I was applying my makeup. But this is the Art Gentle Cleanser. It's a foaming cleanser. And then I used the Art refreshing toner which helps balance out your pH. Hey Michelle, good to see you. I'm so glad you could join in. And then the Art Light Moisturizer is um, a part of the Art Skincare line. And this is a really great way to take care of your skin, to prep your skin and keep it healthy and happy. And so I applied um, the cleanser and the toner and then you guys, what they recommend is to use the Art Renewal Serum. Mine is on my on the way here to my house as we speak. Um, I haven't gotten my hands on this except a convention. I tried it. This Renewal Serum is like a dream. I want you guys to see a picture of it so you can see. This is the Art Renewal Serum. It is so amazing. It's very luxurious and it's so good for your skin. It is an intricate blend of exotic or orchid extract and essential oils. And it um, is really amazing for delicate areas of your face, like around our eyes. We know our skin is super delicate. So this serum is so fantastic to hydrate and help maintain a youthful appearance. So you're going to apply this renewal serum to your face and your neck. After you do that, then you will apply the Art Light Moisturizer to your face, okay? Mm, I've got some lemon water, it's so refreshing with my lemon essential oil. Vitality, of course. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my skin prepped. You guys, I'm getting glow on my art skincare line too. I am going to redeem my ER points so that um, I can get more of that. 
And then I'm just going to apply that to my face. I actually put some on right before this video too. And apply it to your neck too. And so once I have that on and moisturized, my skin is like primed and ready for this incredible Savvy Minerals makeup. Okay? So you have your skin prepped. It feels amazing and soft and ready to use this um, mineral makeup. And a lot of people wonder, like, oh my gosh, like, I've heard mineral makeup is not good for older skin or maturing skin or dry skin. You guys, this makeup is amazing. It is good for all skin types. And I'm going to tell you why. It is not like normal mineral makeup. A lot of mineral makeup has a bunch of junk in it, honestly. Um, and this Savvy Minerals line does not. It's like legit. It has kaolin clay in it, which is so good for your skin, as well as arrowroot powder. And it makes my skin feel so soft and amazing. And there's also another trick, you guys. We have this cool misting spray, which of course is infused with Young Living essential oils, even rose essential oil. And all I'm going to do is spritz my brush two to three times, and that gets it nice and moist. So I put a little bit of my foundation in the cap. Okay, I'm going to swirl it around so the minerals get picked up. And you guys, I'm using my old brushes um, that I have used forever. But guess what? Young Living, of course, is coming out with some brushes. It's either um, in July or August, so stay tuned for that. And I've seen them, you guys. They are amazing, and I felt them. They are amazing. They're synthetic which is a good thing because this whole line is um, cruelty free, which is super important. So you see I'm just swirling this mineral foundation around to apply it to my face and under my eyes. And you guys like, <laughs> if I, you know, I totally did not introduce myself. But for those of you who don't know me, I am a mom of six soon to be seven. Um, got my baby in here. <laughs> and um, I'm due in September. And I swear you guys, I have not gotten the best rest. And so I feel like my under eye circles have really been uh, kind of tough for me lately. And um, so you guys can see already, I feel like it's really evened out my skin a lot and I have a few spots on my face like I have you know some veins and some other things that I would like to cover up a little bit more so um, there's this really cool trick that you can do where you put a little bit of your foundation in your hand with a little bit of the art light moisturizer and um, when you do that it creates like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. And I'm going to use, let me see if I can find it. You guys, it's so funny how I'm trying to use the brushes that I already have. But I'm just going to mix that in my hands a little bit. And then apply it to some of these other spots that I want to cover up a little bit more. And um, it's just, you guys, it's so natural and it's like a little bit goes a long way. It's kind of crazy. But that can really help to cover up some areas like you guys I'm breaking out down here. Thank you, baby hormones. <laughs> so you can get a little bit more coverage. And um, I also feel like once I apply my bronzer and stuff, it really helps enhance other features of my face too and I've even um, reapplied the foundation if I need to um, just to get a thicker 
fuller coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more because you guys I love liquid foundation and um, but this is very comparable it's really really good coverage um, okay, so I have my foundation on. You guys saw I swirled it all around. So, um, I also want to tell you guys at the end of this class, um, I will be happy to share with you more on which color is best for you. So you can find out, um, exactly if you're warm, cool, or dark and which shade is best for you. All right, now we're going to move on to, let me do the bronzer, actually. So I'm using the bronzer. This is crowned all over. It's a very pretty color. It's like a light bronzer. And what I like to do with my bronzer, actually, you guys, is I will apply it kind of to this area of my cheeks to help it look a little bit more defined. It's kind of like contouring, but not as extreme as some of the videos you may have seen where people just are like way over the top. This is like a natural, a uh, very natural way to contour your face a bit. Hey Tara, good to see you, glad you could join us. So um, there's this trick, it's three and E, where you're just gonna, contour like this area like a, a three and an E and by doing that it's kind of like hitting those areas to to help define them a little bit more and I don't like to do my chin too much because <laughs> you don't want people to see like underneath and see a, a very sharp line but that just gives me a little bit more definition okay and then we're going to move on to the blush. This one is called I Do Believe You're Blushing. It's a really pretty like pink. It has some shimmer in it. And when you apply your blush, you guys, I'm tapping such a small amount in the lid. Um, people have asked like how long this lasts. It will last you quite a while, I would imagine. Um, and I wear makeup every single day. So this was really weird for me to do a live video, but I'm just going to apply it to like the apples of my cheeks and like, you know, that little circle area of your, of your face. Okay. It gives you just a nice natural glow, um, very youthful look. So I love the blush. Okay. And let me move on to... Let me do some, I made, I took notes, you guys, so I wouldn't forget anything. <laughs> oh, normally I do my brows, so let's move on to the brows. There is this product called Multitasker, and it's the bomb, you guys. Like, it's this dark brown, and it's so amazing because you can use it for so many things. People have even used it to cover up their gray hair. Seriously, it's pretty cool. So it's like this dark brown color and I have a little bit in my lid already because I use this one a lot. And um, let me first give you a trick about your eyebrows, okay? So you don't want to um, over accentuate your eyebrows. Where your eyebrows are or where they're naturally meant to be. You don't want to make them look drawn on like big clown eyebrows or anything too insane. So I really encourage you to um, just really take note of where your brows naturally are and go with that. And here are some tips for you, okay? So the start of your eyebrows should be from the edge of your nose to the corner of your eye, okay? So it should start there. The arch of your brow should be from the corner of your nose to the pupil of your eye. Okay, and then the end of your eyebrow should be the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye. So it stops right there. Okay, and um, I have, I used to over, sorry, I was getting a call. I used to over tweeze and now I'm totally regretting it, you guys, because it does not grow back like it did when I was younger. And all I'm going to do is 
um, put a little bit of the multitasker, which is the dark brown color, on my angled brush. Again, Young Living is coming out with an amazing brush set in July or August, so stay tuned for that. And I actually like, you guys, it's so funny trying to do this um, on, my, on my phone because I normally do it in the mirror. Um, so I normally like to start further out in my eyebrow instead of starting right here. I feel like it's too intense and it's too much pigment. Um, I believe that it creates like a really harsh drawn on look. So I like to start, like I said, kind of midway and slowly work my way to the front or the middle part of my eyebrows. And I just do these tiny little strokes until I fill it in a little bit more. And that's how I do it, y'all. Um, if you have dark eyebrows and dark hair like I do, like I said, Multitasker is a really good color for you. It's a dark brown. If you have light hair, if you're blonde, let me recommend you try the, it's actually a foundation color, which is the dark number one. And... I'll post a picture of this too in a bit, you guys, so you can see it better. So you could actually use that color for your eyebrows to fill it in so it's not as harsh or harsh or dramatic because, um, you know, if you have blonde hair, you don't want to have super, super dark eyebrows. It would just be overpowering and so anyways. And I just like to fill it in. I really think it gives it um, more consistency to my face and you guys your eyebrows are so important because it frames out your face it really does it gives you a nice framed out fa face and um, just kind of pulls your whole look together so that is it for the brows and now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow okay so for eyeshadow I have the best kept secret like really this is called Best Kept Secret. It's a matte color, or it's matte. It's kind of like a nude. Um, and again, you guys, I will post pictures um, of all the colors and everything after this so you can see better because, like I said, I know my, my light is really bright, but I wanted you guys to be able to see exactly what I was doing here. So I put a little bit of Best Kept Se Secret in my lid and this is basically going to be a primer for my eyelid and it's just a really nice neutral um, matte color or neutral matte eyeshadow so you know how sometimes you put on um, how sometimes you put on uh, eyeshadow and then you get that crease in your eye that's because your eyes were not primed, so this helps prevent that from happening. So, best kept secret. Prime your eyes just like that with a nice brush. If you guys have any questions as I'm going along, please feel free to ask. And I'm going to do more of just like my everyday look. You know, even though it's nighttime. <laughs> So I'm going to use Crushin on my eyelids. Crushin is like a, a sparkly pink tone. And I'm also going to use Wanderlust, which is a sparkly white. And to start, I am going to use this fluffy brush, you know, technical terms. And here's a cool thing about Wanderlust. It is really good for highlighting. And what I like to do is get the inside of my eyes and the corner right there. Okay. And also underneath my brow. I feel like you can't see it as much as I can in real life. It's probably because my light is so bright. 
and I do that on the other eye too. And you can also use this Wanderlust to highlight areas of your face. I know some people will actually swipe like the top of their cheekbones and then blend it in with their brush. And that just like makes your face pop a little bit more. And now I'm going to apply this, the sparkly pink crushing to my eyelids. And it's just a really pretty natural color. My mirror, or my mirror is so far away. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm totally cracking up I'm trying to do this live for you guys. Okay, now we are going to get to the fun part. I love like accentuating my eyes a little bit more. And you can either use the multitasker or you can use this is determined, which is like a sparkly brown. I'm going to show you how to um, really make your eyes pop. Um, I have, I feel like my lips are really bold and I feel like I like to pull out um, some feature, other features in my face to look more proportion like my eyes. So to really make my eyes pop, you guys, I'm going to show you what I do. So where am I going to start? I don't know. I'm also um, opening my eyeliner, which I haven't used yet. I've been using um, the multitasker as my eyeliner. But I also want to show you. Okay, so I'll do my eyeliner first. We have a black eyeliner, which is um, you can get wet with the misting spray and swirl in the cap and you can line your eyes. So I'm going to show you how to do this with the light brown, which is multitasker. Because like I said, I'm going for more of an everyday look. I don't want anything too intense. So you can spray your brush, but I actually like to spray inside my cap and with a little bit of the multitasker, I just swirl, swirl it around. I have this really cool brush, you guys. I honestly don't know where I got this from. <laughs> it's a very tiny, tiny brush, but it really helps me get close to my eyelashes and apply it as an eyeliner. So this, you guys, is like magic because it really helps to accentuate your eyes. And the trick on this is you want to get really as close as you can to your eyelashes and I'm attempting to do this very awkwardly <laughs> okay so as you can see I'm just applying it to like my lash line and I usually like I said I kind of do that little wing it's not too intense not too insane but I'm going to do the, I'm going to attempt to do the same thing on this side, but it, this is very difficult. So bear with me. So this color that I'm using the multitasker, the stark brown is so nice because like I used it on my brows, I'm using it as a liner and I'm even going to show you how I use it, um, as, um, kind of like, um, uh, in the crease of my eye to really accentuate my eyes and make them pop a little bit. And you know what, you guys, for some people, you may not do all of these steps. You may just need your foundation, a little bit of lip balm, and you're good to go. I like to do a little bit more and it normally takes me so much less time than it's taking me now because, um, cause I'm talking through it all. But anyways, so now I'm going to get a little bit of the multitasker and on my angled brush and I like to just do a little bit of that underneath my eye and I only go about like halfway like I don't go all the way to the inner corner and now this is the part where I do my crease 
and I like to bring it up a little bit. And this is just using the multitasker dry. My brush is not wet with the misting spray. Okay, so that's a little bit dramatic, but I can go back in with my brush. Oh, it's very dramatic actually. <laughs> and just feather it out a little bit. And you guys, mineral makeup is so forgiving too. So it's like, if you mess up a bit, don't worry. Just like keep working with it until you get, get it to where you like it. Okay, can you see how my eyes are like totally popping? I love it. And then I'm just gonna work it in a little bit with my other brush. And I feel like they're not totally even <laughs> because my lighting and my mirror is kind of awkward. But good enough, you guys can see kind of where I'm going with that. I just feel like it makes my eyes pop. I have my eyeliner on. Fantastic. Um, and what am I missing? Oh, you guys, I'm totally missing my mascara. And um, my mascara, it's in my bathroom. And Young Living is launching a mascara next month. So I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for it. So I've just been wearing my not so wonderful mascara. <laughs> And um, so anyways, I can't wait to get my hands on the Young Living Mascara. It's going to be in black and brown, and it's amazing. Um, at convention, you were able to try it, and it's really, really so good because I know a lot of people have issues with mascara and wearing it because, like, their eyes start to itch, it flakes off, whatever. This mascara is amazing, and it's definitely a crucial step because it really makes your eyes pop. Um, I was also going to say you can just take your brush too if you have any fallout from um, putting on your mascara to clean up your face a little bit. And now let me move on to my lips. Last but not least, this is um, Young Living's Lip Gloss Embrace. And they also came out with one that is a little bit darker called Abundant. And you guys, oh my gosh, I fell in love whenever I tried this, okay? This is infused with peppermint essential oil. It makes your lips feel tingly and, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so, so amazing. And it plumps your lips a little bit naturally and I just love it. I only put on a small amount. I actually have lip balm on right now, which I'm going to wipe off so you guys can see the full effect. Hey, Kimberly, glad you could join us. Yeah, I've just been, um, I went through my makeup routine. Okay, so I took off my lip balm, and I want to show you, this is the, um, one of the four lipsticks that they came out with. This is Wish, and my two-year-old actually got a hold of it today and was trying to put it on. <laughs> so there may be a small tooth mark in it. But you guys, this is so cute because it even says YL, like stamped on it for Young Living. I was just like, that is so cute. So Wish is a really pretty color. And I was so blown away, seriously, with all of the different colors that they had at convention. Like I felt that all the colors that they launched were so good for so many different um, skin tones and um, people with different color hair and different eye colors. I mean, I felt like their eyeshadows, their lipsticks, their lip glosses were all so amazing and worked for so many different people. Okay, so there's, that one is called Wish. It has a little bit of a purple undertone, but it, to me, I feel like it's still neutral. You guys, I am not a lipstick person. I have a really hard time with lipstick because I always felt like it was too intense it was either too matte, it was too, it just did not go with, with my face. Like, I did not like it. But this stuff has really great pigment. It lasts a really long time, and the color is amazing. And here's a little tip for you guys. If you apply the lipstick, and then want to make your lips pop even more, you're going to use the lip gloss. This is um, Embrace. It's kind of like a neutral like a nice nude 
you're just going to apply it to like the very center of your lips. And it just really makes your lips pop. Or you can do what I normally do and just apply it all over. <laughs> so there we go. And oh, you know what I totally forgot? It was my veil. Okay, the veil also called diamond dust. It's like a very light um, powder with a little hint of sparkle. I put a little bit in my lid and I'm going to swirl it around in my big poofy brush and apply it all over. And this really gives me a nice dewy finish and kind of seals everything in. And I feel like as my skin has aged, it's lost a lot of that really pretty glow. And I just feel like it's a really nice, natural look. My skin looks and feels amazing, you guys. Like I said, it has kaolin clay in it, which is so good for your skin. A lot of other companies who have mineral makeup put in a bunch of junk that you don't want in your makeup. So at the beginning of the class, I was going to tell you guys a little bit more about um, Savvy Minerals and why this makeup line is so amazing, but I really just wanted to get my makeup on. So now I'll tell you <laughs> more of the details and why this makeup is so much better than any other makeup that you can find out there. Okay. So Savvy Minerals makeup, you guys, was just launched over the weekend at Young Living Convention. Um, Young Living is an amazing company that's been around for over 20 years. They are the leader in essential oils and natural products. You guys, I've been with Young Living for about three years. I fell in love with their products and I felt like I just had to share them with everybody because they are that amazing, that life-changing, and just such an amazing, pure-hearted company. And so they just launched this makeup line, which is so amazing. It's free of so much junk. I know I titled this event <laughs> Makeup Without the BS because that's basically what it is. It's really pure makeup with all, with, without all the crap because so many people are able to slap on an all natural label and call it natural or, um, you know, market it as something that's good, but it's really not. And it's a big marketing ploy and it's kind of frustrating especially as a consumer, because you're like, I thought it was good, and then you type it in your Think Dirty app, and it's totally not good. So here are some things that I want to tell you about this makeup line. Um, you guys, it's a mineral-based powder. Um, it's, you, it's made from finely ground mica, and it gives you a smooth, flawless application. A lot of people with more mature skin or dry skin was like, oh, I can't use mineral makeup because my skin is dry or more mature. It's going to settle in my creases. You guys, this does not do that. Because of the misting spray and the essential oils that are infused in this and the kaolin clay that is in the foundation, you get such an amazing soft finish and it's really going to make your skin glow and it's going to make it feel so good and your skin's going to love it. Um, so, and of course, like I said, with Young Living, quality, purity, and safety is super important to us. So, of course, this stuff is legit. It is free from many horrible um, ingredients that a lot of other companies put in their makeups and their mineral makeups. Let me get some water. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting worked up here. Okay, so <laughs> this makeup line is cruelty-free. There's no talc, no bismuth, no mineral oil. It's gluten-free, free of parabens, nan um, no nanoparticles, um, phthalates. I mean, I don't even know how to pronounce this word. So why would p people put this in their makeup line? <laughs> it's free from dyes. It's free from petrochemicals. It's free from synthetic fragrance and free from synthetic colorants because they use mica to color this makeup line. So if you have more questions on all of that stuff, because I'm not sciency based, Google it or message me and I can send you this image. 
So you can um, do some research and figure out exactly why you don't want those things in your makeup. Um, it, like I also said, you guys, this makeup line has intense colors. It's so um, rich. The pigments are amazing. Um, and believe it or not, like seriously, this makeup line is super comparable to other makeup lines as far as prices. Um, it's really, really a good deal considering what you get. Um, so let me end with this, you guys. Um, a lot of people wonder, why does it matter if I'm using toxic makeup or not? What we put on our skin is absorbed into our skin. Um, our skin is the largest organ. That's just what happens. And especially, like, if, if there's just one thing, you guys, that you're going to switch out, switch out your lip stuff. Because when you're putting on your, your lip balm and your lip gloss and throughout the day you're eating and drinking, that's going right into your system. So if nothing else, switch out your lipstick and your lip gloss. Um, hey Tara, I'm reading your comment. Yeah, so the product that I used on my eyebrows, I did as my eyeliner too. It's called Multitasker. Um, they also have a few other, like they have a black eyeliner that you could use um, for a more intense dramatic look. But yeah, the Multitasker is what I use to shadow my eyes along here and as my eyeliner and also at, in my brows. Yep. Um, and the prices are on the Young Living website, um, and I'm also going to post some stuff in this class too, so, excuse me, so that you can learn more about the different colors, shades, prices, etc., and also the best way to get started because, um, you guys, I want y'all to get the best deal. That's just how it is. I want y'all to get the best deal, and I'm going to hook you up. So stay tuned for after this class, I'm going to make a few posts and answer any additional questions too. Um, so you guys, um, what I was saying was that your non-tox, like it's super important for you to be non-toxic with your makeup because what you put on your skin is absorbed into your bloodstream. And also, um, there's a ton of endocrine disruptors, like the whole list of stuff that I just told you guys about. Like, that messes with your hormones, that messes with your health. So when you can ditch those toxins, you'll feel better, you'll look better, and just be better overall. So, you want to get rid of that toxic makeup and replace it with Savvy Minerals. And I also want to invite you to join the Drop It Like It's Oily Hangout group for more tips, tricks, makeup ideas, essential oil chat, and um, some really fun just hanging out and um, chatting about health and wellness and beauty too. So I'll post a link to the Drop It Like It's Oily Hangout in just a few minutes. And like I said, I'm also going to post some pictures in this event um, because I have this really cool graphic that shows you our different lipsticks, lip balms, foundations, blushes, because I know it's hard to see on that. <laughs> so I'll post pictures in just a minute. And also, I would love to help you pick out your products to any colors, um, any questions that you may have. So if you are ready to enhance your beauty naturally, I invite you to contact the person that invited you to this class because Young Living is a referral-based business. So contact the person that invited you to this class and ask them how you can get started with your Savvy Minerals makeup. Um, if I was the one who invited you to this class, well, of course, ask me any questions you have. I want to help you get started. You can also check out my website, dropitlikeitsoily.com. Um, post any comments or questions you have here, guys. I'm happy to help. And, um, of course, if you want to do what I do as a stay-at-home mom, share with others about health and wellness, with Young Living Essential Oils. I'd love to chat more about this amazing business opportunity because it's the bomb.com, you guys. I get to do what I love, helping other women and serving other women in a tremendous way, all while helping my family financially. It's like the biggest blessing ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me. 
and um, I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.